Hello and welcome to the tutorial on Find the Missing Number. In this tutorial, we will learn how to find the missing number for numbers up to 9 and we're going to be looking at subtraction questions. Now, as I've said before, for addition, it doesn't matter where the box is. For subtraction, it does matter. So, what I'm going to do first is to write our two examples down. First one is 7 minus something equals 3. And the second example is something minus 4 equals 2. Now for both of these examples, we can use the number line, but we use it differently. So let's have a look at the first one. 7 minus something equals 3. Now the first step is, we're going to draw the number line. We've got 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So our number line is 0 to 10. Okay, now let's have a look at the question again. We've got 7 minus something equals 3. Okay, 7 minus something equals 3. So we're going to start with number 7. That's our starting point. Find number 7 on the number line, and here it is. So that's 7. Now, what number are we trying to get to? Well, look at the equal sign. It is 3. So 7 minus something is going to equal 3. So let's put a circle around the 3. So our starting point is 7. We have to subtract and get to 3. Now, as you're aware, if we are going in this direction, towards the left, it is subtract. Okay? So we're starting at number 7. And we're going to make the jumps to get to 3. The number of jumps we make is our answer. So let's do this. Count with me. Good. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay, so how many jumps did we make? 1, 2, 3, and 4. So we have made 4 jumps. That is our answer. 4. 7 minus 4 equals 3. Now that one is pretty straightforward. Okay, so when the box is after the first number, i.e. it's over here, it's very simple to work through. Now let's have a look at our second example. We have something minus 4 equals 2. Something minus 4 equals 2. Now in this scenario, we're going to firstly draw the number line again. We're starting at 0. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and we've got 10. Okay, so that is our number line from 0 to 10. Now have a look at the question again. We've got something minus 4 equals 2. Now what we can do, and we've done this before in other tutorials, is that this 4 over here, to make this easy, this 4, we're going to move across to over here. Okay? The question will then read something, okay, equals 2 plus 4. Now don't forget, if it's a minus over here, when we move it across to the other side, it becomes a plus. Okay? So in this scenario, our starting point, we're just going to be doing 2 plus 4. So let's find number 2 first. 2 is over here. And we're going to be adding 4. Okay? Note we're going to be adding and as you're aware, if we're going in this direction, we are adding, okay? Subtracting to the left, adding to the right. So we've got 2. Let's take 4 jumps to the right, okay? So we've got 1, 2, 3, and 4. Let's count it again. We've got 1, 2, 3, Four. We've made the four jumps. What number have we landed on? We have landed on number six. 
So number six, six is the answer. Six minus four equals two. Okay, six minus four equals two. So there are two different examples, and we're using the same number line, but it is used slightly differently depending on where the missing number is. Okay, just make sure you follow these principles. So that is how we find the missing number for numbers up to nine with subtraction questions.